Hello and welcome to the Star Citizen News. Each week bringing you the latest in Star Citizen News as well as a roundup of what's been happening in the community. Today is Saturday the 22nd of August and today's headlines, Vanguard variant sale details, social module to hit the public test universe, and the FPS module out of Ilphonic's hands. This Friday, the 28th of August, we're going to see two new Vanguard variants on sale. So the Vanguards will come in three flavours. The Warden, which is the standard Vanguard we've previously seen. That was on sale for $250 previously. The Sentinel, which will be on sale for $275. You can see a sneak peek of the Sentinel on Sandy's Facebook. Uh, the Harbinger for $295. We don't really know what that's going to be, either of those Sentinel or the, or the Harbinger. Um, upgrades will also be available for the standard Vanguard to upgrade them to the Sentinel and the Harbinger. Will they come with lifetime insurance? Well, there seems to be some debate over that. The Warden, the one that was previously sold, the original Vanguard, has already been offered with LTI before. So that one won't come with LTI, though it's likely to be sold in the sale with 24 months insurance for $250 again. But it's also a possibility that CIG will release the Sentinel and the Harbinger with lifetime insurance as well, as technically they haven't been previously sold. The Social Module, or Persistent Universe version 0, is going to be released to the Public Test Universe in the not-too-distant future. This iteration will allow 1,000 to 2,000 pre-selected stress testers and backers the chance to find all the bugs, break the module as much as possible before it gets into the rest of our hands so that we don't have to deal with so many alpha issues. The rest of us will be given access a few days later unless any major blockers are discovered. There will be no additional cost to getting a pass to the social module. It's going to be available for all backers. It's basically going to be an extension to the hangar module. There won't be any shared hangers in the first release though. That will come later. But this will be our first taste of the persistent universe and true socialization in the verse. The FPS module is out of Ilphonic's hands. Ilphonic have basically completed their contract with CIG. And the FPS module, Star Marine, is been given back to CIG and the rest of the development is moved to basically being developed in-house. They are also updating the CryEngine to 3.7, which allows for a few good rendering improvements and fixes, as well as better VR tie-ins. Code merging is taking place on a large scale between the different modules. This means that the FPS module will work with the Social module and the Dogfighting module and Arena Commander 2.0, basically, uh, as well as improving a variety of different rendering um, bits and bobs. Um, the updates are being shared across all the projects. It takes time to do this, but progress is being made on the first person shooter module, though it is taking its damn time. Notes from the verse. This is why I take a selection of other little news nuggets that have been in, the, in Reddit, the forums, uh, reverse the verse around the verse and digest them back in your faces. Ship status. For those of you that want to know when your ship is going to be released, how far CIG have come along with a variety of parts uh, of the ship production pipeline for any given ship or project, then check this out in the forums. I'll link it below. Uh, it basically is a place where you can now see where all the ships are in the pipeline. This is also going to be developed into its own website too, with a variety of more information on those ships and lots of other stuff that will be interesting for backers that want to see where their, their pretty little ship is. Like, oh, I want to know where the Herald is. Now you can see it's going to be from here to here in this amount of time, or it's currently here in this project. It's really useful. Gamescom CS ticket backlog. There is still a big backlog of customer support and service tickets, but they are making progress through them. Even Sandy is answering support tickets now. Try not to open multiple tickets for the same request, guys. Close tickets once they've been completed. That does help the CS team. On Reverse the Verse, it was revealed that a new ship will be revealed at CitizenCon. We don't know exactly what ship it's going to be, but a lot of people are speculating that it will be the new Corvette. Mystery of the Blade Arms on the Vandal ships. Again, in Reverse the Verse, it was said that the Blade Arm could be used with Weapon Group 3 and like a Missile. Using this weapon has become more of a riddle than anything else for me. Please drop in the comments or link me videos of people using the blades or getting them working, because I'd really like to know exactly how to get it working. 
Anyway, that's it from the news this week. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. It really does help me. I'm away at Insomnia 55 Gaming Festival next weekend, so I'll try and move the news to somewhere more appropriate or something. Um, basically, I'm telling you from Thursday to Sunday, there might not be much stuff that I'm doing uh, as I'll be drinking and gaming and lanning. Woo! Take care, guys, and I'll see you in the verse.